Hey, what's up guys? Welcome back to another video. So today we're gonna to be going over how to optimize Jungle Scout for the best possible workflow. All right guys, so we're back. Now I've just got this generic product pulled up here that I found today. It's not necessarily a good product, I don't think. It's not a lot of sellers, which is really good. Um, so it's this thing, but that's this beside the point. Um, so something funny happened to me lately, and I'm gonna give you a little story really quick right after you hit the like button. So go ahead, helps me out a ton. If you're a good person, you'll do it. <laughs> I don't care, you're probably a good person either way. Maybe not though. Um, so let's get going here. So story being, I do about four to six hours of product research a day. A lot of you are probably thinking, damn, that's a lot. Yeah, it is. It, it sucks sometimes, but all the time it sucks. Um, but that's what it takes, right? The universe has a weird way of rewarding people that put in the work and it naturally weeds out all the get rich uh, quick people. So there is a system. Amazon FBA is becoming really competitive to be honest. And the people that are you know, coming into this business and don't really have an entrepreneurial spirit and care about developing a brand or developing a lifestyle and putting in the work, making this a long-term thing and just wanna make 20K a month on month one are ruining it for everyone because they come in, they just oversaturate every possible good market. It is harder, but because it's harder, you have to work harder. You have to work smarter. You have to put in more time than anyone else to find more markets. Um, so. The issue that I've been running into, good God, is my eyes hurt, man. <laughs> I'm looking at, you know, when you're looking at numbers and letters for so long, um, it's just like sitting in front of a screen, right? You kind of get dizzy, it's uncomfortable, and you start becoming inefficient. Um, you know, looking at Jungle Scout, now I've over-exaggerated here, <laughs> but I, I dragged out Jungle Scout because it's like, you know, some people look at Jungle Scout like this, and it's like, you don't need all this information, man. Um, so we have rating, fees, tiers, net, dimensions. It's just like when you're looking at this, you need to be able to look at this quickly, efficiently, know if it's good right away, and you don't need all this information. So when I started using Jungle Scout two years ago, it there were not this many options. Now I've personally, I've, <laughs> it doesn't look like this naturally. I've actually selected everything. If you click in here, you could select things, you go into columns. Um, but some of these are helpful. I think most of them are unnecessary right now. It is good to know if you're looking at a single listing, but you don't need to see this for every single listing, right? So even if, you know, this is very exaggerated, even if you're just looking at it like this, there's still unnecessary information here that we can weed out. And I'm gonna show you exactly how to do that. And this has optimized my workflow. Um, and it just, it's one of those simple little things that maybe it doesn't save you that much time on the upfront. So how much, time am I saving by not having to look at a couple extra columns and having my focus go right to where I need it to be? Literally probably a couple seconds. But what you are saving is the strain on your eyes and it allows you to work longer. So when you're, you know, you're looking at this tool and it's very simplified and you know all I have to look at is these two areas, these three areas, bang, we're in business. So we're, this is probably gonna be a pretty quick video. Subscribe if you're new here, guys. Um, love to have the new subs. We're at 8,000, you guys are crazy. I literally had a thousand like four months ago, three months ago. I'm gonna hit 10K soon. Thank you to everyone that's here. Subscribe if you're new. Also, you could take my free Amazon FBA course. Don't pay $500 to some guru looking fool, man. You get the information for free from me. You could donate if you want, it's optional. It'll be the first link in the description. Savage Sellers course, baby. Um, so here, you know, we're giving away the best free methods. I just, I just want to, you know, I read a Rich Dad Poor Dad recently from cover to cover. I don't read a lot of books cover to cover. I kind of just find information that's valuable, and I trim through everything that's kind of just fluff um, and page fillers. But that book I read cover to cover. What I took away from that book was, you know, Tony Robbins teaches this as well. If you want something, you have to give it first. The universe gives you what you give to others. You want to be loved? Go love someone. Love everyone. If you want money, give away whatever money you have because it changes something in your mind when you do that. It shows that it puts you into an abundance mindset. So I literally could care less. Like I could be charging 500 for my course and I would make so much more money. Oh my God, do you know how many people have enrolled in my course and literally have paid me nothing? 
but I'm so happy to do it because it's going to come back to me. I know it will. It hasn't yet. Um, <laughs> I look at what other YouTubers are making. They'll do income breakdowns. I'm like, Phew. I don't make that much, man. I make you know money from selling on Amazon, but my my course sales are definitely not 10k a month. That's for sure. Um, <laughs> I'm getting off track here. I'm gonna show you how to do this now. So this is this is ridiculous right here, man. Look at this. That's too much. Too much right there. Columns. You click into here. By the way, if you don't have Jungle Scout, I have a discount link in the description. Go get Jungle Scout. If you're serious about starting if you're not serious about starting just stop watching youtube videos and go do something productive there's columns here's what you need we don't we don't need category okay we don't need rank so open yours up in another tab take notes do something take this down monthly estimated sales we do want daily we don't need unnecessary that didn't used to be there estimated revenue we do want reviews we do want rating we want seller nope fees nope tier nope number of sellers nope product dimensions no weight no we could figure that out from the listing when we're doing this we don't need it net definitely not uh, listing quality score will keep and we could actually get rid of sponsored products as well because you don't need to see those we just want to see organic rank now let's restart this it's going to get rid of it now we're going to pull it back up finding stuff on the fly so here we go we're going to open up jungle scout and now check out the difference here Oh my god, does that look better. And you know what? Let's actually just get rid of listing quality score. I don't care about listing. I could I'll tell you the listing quality score, okay? I'm gonna analyze it myself. So I think less is more with Amazon product research tools. Everyone's about, you know, what's the best giveaway service? Do giveaways work? How do I launch this? How do you know what's the best software? All of that is bullshit literally just get down to all you need to know you need to know how much money they're making how many reviews they have how many sellers are there you know those things you're good man i left the ratings in there just so we could see um if it's all five stars it might be hard to compete if there's one star you know there's a two and a half star here two and a half star here you're still making 2500 a month in revenue and if it's a thousand bucks a month and you know profit with two and a half stars you know you improve that product you could go a long way so this is a lot easier so what i look for when i come in here is of course we're going to look revenue to review ratio so we want to see high revenue low reviews if we sort it it's a lot easier to see um, we'll come down here and we see in this range you know there's really there's no one with super low reviews doing really well sometimes that's actually a good thing because it shows you it's it's a it's a market that doesn't have a bunch of saturated sellers in. Um, this actually kind of looks good. Um, did we just find something here? Hang on, let me. It's let's. Uh, we'll just sort by. Oh, I lost my things. Sort by this. Um, so if you click on that, it'll go back to organic search results. And let's see. So they're doing balance, buddy. Okay, that seems more so like the one. Um, no one has a good first picture. I can't even tell where those go on the bike or what those are for. And let me tell you actually why this is kind of a good market right now. Um, first of all, people hate it, which is good for us because if there's that many people, you know, a thousand people a month buying the balance buddy, um, and you know, four, four and a half stars is actually pretty good. Don't worry about the reviews, but what is good about this market is it looks like it's developed. And there's not a ton of people that have their eyes on it and they're trying to get in. Honestly, when you see a bunch of people in a market with very low reviews, that kind of tells you that it's going to be hard because there's always new sellers entering. Sometimes these old dog markets here where there's only a couple listing, like literally what's the competition? It's this top row and these two. And then there's no one else down here. Um, literally, that's it. That's This is an ideal market because there's only a couple of people making money. I would go as far as to say it's not patented, but we'd have to check. Reviews are okay, but that's okay. Um, what if we did that design, something like that, that's doing well, like this guy's got the right idea, but we need a picture kind of more like this or like that. Um, so point being, when you're doing, you know, when you're doing four or five hours of product research every single day, because um, that is what it takes if you wanna be successful. I'm gonna tell you right now, if you're not committed to doing this business, it's not gonna make you rich quick. Okay, you're gonna have failures, you're gonna have pain in the ass moments, account suspensions, 
Um, this is an actual online business and it takes time. It takes effort. Like I said, universal weed out all the losers and all the get rich quick schemers. This is not for you. So if you want something like that, I don't know what, what's a good get rich quick scheme. Um, selling courses. That's a good one. You could try. <laughs> I'm like the, the anti anti guru. Uh, I, I think I can't wait for like, you know, a lot of them to get wiped out. $500, man. I've bought a $500 course. Don't ever pay that much for a course. Um, actually, you know what? Maybe pay that much for a course if the person is vatted. If it's if it's a great person, like I, I might pay that much for like a real estate course from someone who's made $55 million in real estate, okay? Like, a, you know, Dean or Grant Cardone, someone like that. Maybe, honestly, best way to do it is just apply the basics, right? What does a, a black belt take? They practice the basics. They pra practice the fundamentals and they drilled the fundamentals into their heads, right? You see a black belt, uh, you know, sparring, it's basics. They're, they've done one punch 10,000 times. That's why they're a black belt. They're not doing, you know, backflips off the wall. And that's what everyone's trying to do with Amazon FBA. It's like, you know, this software, if I combine it with these 16 other softwares, you look like a day trader on your screen. You got all these charts and stuff. Just find a market where there's not a lot of sellers, improve the product and sell that. Hopefully this was helpful for you guys. Get what? Hopefully this was helpful for you guys, guys. Thanks for watching. Uh, if you apply this, you'll be able to at least increase your workflow. You're not looking at so much stuff and confusing yourself. Here's something easy. Make sure the price is over eight. I'm going to teach you how to sell on Amazon right now. Make sure the price is over $18. Make sure the reviews aren't five stars so you can improve it. Make sure there's less than two pages of actual relevant sellers. Make a better listing, make a better first picture. That's how you do this business. Thanks so much for watching you guys. As always, it's been a pleasure. I'll see you in the next one.